what is up you guys welcome back to my youtube channel today we're going to talk about healthy boundaries and how to set them now this is something that i've been working on the past couple months is how to set healthy boundaries you know when setting healthy boundaries especially for someone who's anxious attachment style um it is very hard because we tend to be people pleasers it's very hard to set boundaries because we want to please people right um i've struggled this very 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 long time um my lack of boundaries are the reason why i put myself in positions that were very unhealthy so setting your boundaries first you want to make a list right you want to make a list of what you allow and what you don't allow and um your boundaries can change throughout the time you know uh don't ever be afraid excuse me to set new boundaries he was crazy i always burp in every video but uh, never be afraid to set new boundaries sometimes your boundaries are going to change you know you may realize that something triggers you and it becomes a new boundary for you you're like mm, i don't like the way this uh really triggers me i'm just going to put it as a boundary because i don't like the way that my body reacts to it that is okay you set your own boundaries at your own pace at what you want and if someone else cannot respect your boundaries they are not for you and you need to walk away because people should be okay with you setting boundaries and keeping them. Now, it is your job to stay firm on them, especially for people pleasers. We tend to just let them go. We'll set them and then we'll be like, mm, you know, maybe this is just one time. No, keep them firm and keep them solid. Now, you write a list of your boundaries and now you have to practice. You know what I'm saying? I think practice is how we perfect it when it comes to boundaries. Now, when you meet someone or your friends or you can tell your friends or your family, like, hey, you know, um, I've made new boundaries and I just want to discuss them with you. Or um, these are my new boundaries. Um, if you respect them, thank you. If not, I'm going to walk away whenever you overstep my boundaries. Now, this means you don't have to, like, stop being friends with them or stuff, stuff like that. But it's going to take some people a couple times to be like, oh, she's serious about these boundaries. Let me take it for sure. Understand, in order to set these boundaries, you have to be willing to stick to them. Whenever someone crosses your boundary, walk away. Let them know these are not boundaries to be crossed. And if they are crossed, I am walking away. I am completely disappearing because we've talked about this boundary. They're not respecting my boundary. So I'm going to walk away. Let them know, hey, you just overstepped my boundary. I'm walking away. You know, and it's going to take time. It's it, within time and practice it becomes more of a habit to make sure that you are standing on your boundaries and being firm with them. My people pleasers, we got work to do. You know what I'm saying? It's time to set boundaries. 2024 is coming and we are tired of pleasing everybody and it's time to set our firm boundaries and stick to it and be solid with it. Understand, when you set boundaries, you are setting a standard for yourself, knowing that, hey, I respect myself enough to walk away because you, wa you walked over my boundary now I'm going to walk away from you. Okay, it's okay to walk away when someone oversteps you. It is okay to walk away when someone oversteps you because that is showing, hey, I respect myself enough to walk away and I respect you enough to not lash out at you. Because sometimes when people overstep our boundaries, we feel triggered and we're like, we've talked about this before. And instead of yelling at them or, or, or being confrontational or cussing them out or anything like that you want to walk away i'm not putting up with this we are not going to long, longer put ourselves in a in a in a bucket where we're like this is our boundary i'm not going to argue about it i'm going to walk away about it and stay firm on that that means if you have to leave relationships if they if you have to leave friendships families because they cannot respect your boundaries and you've told them over and over like hey this is a boundary and you've had to walk away multiple times let them know I'm cutting you loose or don't let them know at all and just walk away and completely cut them out of your life. And that is okay. You do not need to give them excuse on why you left their life because truly they know and they will know when you walk away because your absence will make them think like, wow, they were serious about their boundaries. Yes. And you overstepped and now you lost contact of me. All right, Queens. That is what we're doing today. We're going to work on boundaries. 2024, here we come because people pleasers are going away. Okay, it's a new season and it's our season to be our authentic selves and to be firm within our boundaries and our standards. So I hope you guys are able to jot down some of your boundaries and stick firm. And let's keep a let's keep let's keep a list, you know? 
I love y'all. Thank you so much for staying into this video. I hope you subscribe, comment below what you want to see next, and hit that bell notification to keep getting notified every time I post a video. Y'all have a beautiful, wonderful day. Bye.